hello friends today let us discuss one topic scalar and vector product this topic is important for your class 11 entrance examinations for your a level physics for your isc physics for your class 11 physics for the various boards now let us see uh, what is scalar product uh, if this is a vector a and this is a vector b and theta b angle between them then scalar product between them is denoted by this symbol a vector dot b vector and which defined as a dot b is equal to a b cos theta or magnitude of vector a times magnitude of vector b times cos theta we can simply say that a dot b is equal to a b cos theta this a b cos theta is simply a number it is simply a scalar quantity because of that uh, this entire product is called scalar product and this is also called dot product now let us see some questions um, from scalar product uh, let us see this question in this question uh, we need to find the angle uh, at what angle the scalar product between two non-zero vectors becomes zero we know the definition of scalar product scalar product a dot b is equal to a b cos theta here the product a b cos theta can be zero in the following condition if vector a or magnitude of vector a is equal to zero if magnitude of vector b is equal to zero if both magnitude of vector a and vector b are zero and if cos theta is zero if you see this expression it is clear that if a is zero if b is zero if both are zero or if cos theta is zero in this all condition a dot b becomes zero but according to these questions according to this question two the two vectors are non-zero that is a and b are not zero because of that a b c are not possible for this question only the possible case is cos phi must be zero if cos phi is zero then phi is 90 degree it means that when two vectors makes angle 90 degree with each other in such condition the scalar product between them becomes zero so required condition is 90 degree or perpendicular uh, of two vectors now let us see another question at what angle the scalar product between two non-zero vector becomes maximum in this case we need to maximize the scalar product uh, our scalar product a dot b is equal to a b cos theta or a b cos phi as a and b are simply number non-zero numbers so they cannot be maximum or minimum we can maximize or minimize the value of cos phi if cos phi becomes maximum then a dot b becomes maximum now we know that maximum value of cos phi is one if maximum value of cos phi is one then angle between the two vector becomes zero degree it means that two vector are parallel with each other they are making zero degree with each other in such case the scalar product between two non-zero vector becomes maximum that is a dot b becomes a into b magnitude of a into magnitude of b because cos phi becomes one now let us uh, see this table the maximum value of sin phi is plus one and cos phi is also plus one maximum value of sin phi and cos phi is plus one and minimum value of sin phi and cos phi is minus 1 and maximum value of tan phi is plus infinity and minimum value of tan phi is minus infinity now let us see this uh, vector product or uh, cross product uh, if a and b be the two vectors and theta be the angle between them then cross product between them is denoted by this uh, vector a cross vector b and is defined as a b sin theta n cap this n cap gives the direction of vector product if we if we get certain magnitude from a b sin theta then this direction will be given by this n cap as a b sin theta gives magnitude and n cap or unit vector gives direction because of that this product becomes vector quantity and entire product is called vector product or cross product so a cross b is equal to a b sin theta times n cap or a b sin theta n cap is the answer uh, is the definition of uh, vector product now let us see uh, some questions uh, at what angle the vector product between two non-zero vectors becomes zero the definition of vector product between two vectors is a b sin theta n cap but while doing some mathematical calculation we only see the magnitude we only see the a b sin theta part so we know that a cross b is equal to a b sin theta now we need to uh, we need to uh, find the angle at which the product becomes zero 
here a and b are non zero uh, here a and b are non zero so sin phi if sin phi becomes zero the entire product of a cross b becomes zero because of that uh, our theta must be zero degree because sin zero is zero so if two vectors are parallel to each other if two vectors are parallel to each other then the cross product or vector product between two non-zero vector becomes zero now let us see another question uh, in this question at what angle the vector product between two non-zero vector becomes maximum uh, similarly um, uh, similar to the above question if a cross b is equal to a b sin phi this a and b are the fixed number so if sin phi becomes maximum if sin phi becomes maximum entire product of a cross b becomes maximum so maximum value of sin phi is one and this gives theta is equal to 90 degree so if theta between two vectors is 90 degree then the vector product or cross product between two non-zero vector becomes maximum uh, so if we compare this table we will get this uh, we can compare this uh, scalar product or dot products becomes minimum at 90 degree and uh, at the same uh, and, and at zero degree it becomes maximum and the just reverse case for the vector product in this question we need to find the angle at which magnitude of scalar product and magnitude of vector product of two non-zero vector becomes equal this is the uh, definition of scalar product this is the definition of vector product and according to this question the magnitude of vector product and magnitude of scalar product are equal now we can cancel this a b and a b now we get sin theta is equal to cos theta i have written phi here and i sometimes uh, i say theta and sometimes i say phi they are the same thing now uh, when we divide this expression by cos phi on both side we will get 10 phi is equal to 1 which give us phi is equal to 45 degree it means that when angle between two vector is 45 degree then the cross product and dot product or scalar product and vector product of these two vector becomes equal now let us see another question uh, i have kept some notes here uh, the in vector product on changing the order of vector uh, on changing a cross b to b cross a it gives minus sign the sign comes here and uh, if we change the dot product between two vector uh, a dot b then sign uh, the sign will not change here a dot b becomes uh, b dot a uh, the magnitude of given vector a is equal to x i plus yj is a magnitude root under x square plus y square that means coefficient of i square plus coefficient of j square if we see the example if a is equal to 2i plus 3j then magnitude of vector a will be root under 13 similarly for uh, three dimensional vector xi plus yj plus uh, zk our magnitude will be coefficient of i square plus coefficient of j square plus coefficient of k square with a square root uh, now let us move to another slide um, unit vectors we know that unit vector means a vector with magnitude 1 having magnitude 1 if uh, a vector uh, ha has magnitude 1 towards x axis then it is called i vector and if vector has magnitude j uh, towards y axis from origin then it is called j vector and if a vector has magnitude 1 towards z axis uh, uh, then it is called uh, unit vector k now now i j k can be multiplied scalarly and vectorly uh, vector, uh, uh, we can take the scalar product and vector product of this vector now let us see scalar product of unit vector uh, if we multiply i dot i then according to definition of a dot b a b cos theta a vector makes angle zero degree with itself because of that i dot i becomes one uh, because of that angle becomes zero and uh, we know that i magnitude of i magnitude of j and magnitude of k are already one so cos zero is also one because of that i dot i becomes one similarly j dot j also becomes one k dot k also becomes one but in i j i j are two separate uh, different axes and they make angle 90 degree with each other and cos 90 is zero because of that ij becomes zero ji also becomes zero jk kj and all other becomes zero only the thing we need to remember is same similar term same term the ii jj kk becomes one all other becomes zero if we take a scalar product of unit vector this happens only in dot product not in cross product now let us see what happens in cross product 
in cross product if we write i dot j i cross j then uh, our formula for a cross b is a b sin theta with unit vector in the case of i and j the unit vector is the vector perpendicular to both i and j if we see this diagram this is i this is j and this k is the unit vector perpendicular to i and j because of that i and j will give us k because uh, if we see this uh, formula uh, i magnitude of i magnitude of j they becomes 1 1 and angle between i and j is 90 degree so sin 90 is also 1 but unit vector is a vector perpendicular to both i and j that will be k and if we do uh, similarly for j uh, cross k we will get i and if we do k cross i we will get j but if 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 we reverse the pattern for example uh, on instead of writing i cross j if we, if we write j cross i it will give us minus k and similarly for k cross j it will give us minus i and if we multiply i cross i j cross j and k cross k they will give us zero because i and i makes angle 0 degree with each other and sin 0 is 0 uh, from this we will get the vector product of unit vector you need to do practice for this vector product it may be new for you so just remember that we are using a cross b formula and in the case of i and j the unit vector will be k in the case of k cross j unit vector will be i in the case of i cross j i cross k unit vector will be j in this pattern uh, we need to find the vector product of unit vector now let us see this uh, question if vector a is this and vector b is this we need to find the a dot b now simply we use the this formula of i dot i j dot j i dot j j dot i uh, and we will find the answer here is 3 i and here is uh, uh, 1 i if you multiply 3 i and 1 i it will give us minus 3 all other term will be 0 because i into j is 0 i into k is 0 similarly for j this j and j will only give 1 and j and i j and k will give us 0 because of that we can simply multiply 3i into 1i 3j into uh, minus 3j 4k into 3k to get our answer our answer will be 0 if the dot product between two vector is 0 then you know the angle what is the angle between a and b now for cross product for cross product also we will use the uh, this table if we if we see uh, j and j i and i k and k will write 0 if we see i cross j will write k if we see j cross uh, i will write minus k and so on uh, by doing that we will we can calculate uh, the value of cross product like this uh, thank you very much all the best for your all type of examinations